name is Sam Cheney. I'm an application engineer out of Fort Worth, Texas. And today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about how you can increase your 3D printer efficiency and throughput using GrabCAD Shop. So the problem that GrabCAD Shop is here to address is you have a couple of printers or you have a few different technologies in uh, a lab that you are putting jobs through and then you have one or maybe a team of operators headed by a lead and then these operators it's their job to maintain the printer's efficiency keep jobs moving through the printer perform any maintenance change any materials things like that just keep the printers running smoothly and they or receive their jobs from uh, we'll call them requesters now this could be the marketing department the engineering department, or just all of your customers that are sending you jobs to quote and to print. And managing all these orders, especially when they come through all at once, is stressful and sometimes difficult, especially if there's not a clear process implemented. Some customers send files through email, some use links to FTP sites, and some just turn up to the operator's desk with the USB saying, hey, I need five of these printed by the end of the day, make it happen. Now, tracking, having all this, having all these files in different locations is difficult to keep, to stay organized. And with that, it's also, it, when you have those files, you may not have all the information. The operator may, before they run a job, have to go back to the requester and say, hey, I don't actually know what material you need, you didn't specify a quantity, or are you okay with this color? Just getting information that should have been there from the start. Now that back and forth can is normally done by email and, or, and keeping track of these jobs. If you're using either a whiteboard or an Excel spreadsheet to keep track of the jobs, it can be difficult to find all the information for a particular job at a particular time. Having all of the, and then there's the communicating between the operator and requester as to order statuses, letting them know if there's been any issues with the job, letting them know when the job is completed and it's ready to be picked up. Now, all of these emails back and forth counts for about 15% of an operator's time. Now, if the operator's on a $50,000 salary, that's seven and a half thousand dollars a year. The operator has spent emailing and it's wasted. It, that time could be spent making 3D prints, scheduling jobs, changing materials or doing printer maintenance. If this sounds like a problem that you have in your organization, GrabCAD Shop is here to help. GrabCAD Shop is a cloud based single portal that automates the communication between a requester and an operator. It allows the operator to focus on what's important, printing jobs. As, a, as I said, it's a cloud, it's a single portal, and it, as you submit an order, it puts all the jobs, uh, it gives all the jobs an automatic job number. It keeps the files in one place, so there's no hunting for a USB that somebody gave you last week and it just magically disappeared. It keeps everything in one place and organized. And it allows you to specify specific permissions and roles. You can set up multiple different shops if that's what is useful for your organization and have some people only be able to access some machines and some only to be able to access others. So without further ado, let's get into a live demo. So this is GrabCAD Shop. This is the main landing page. As you can see, we have a few of our different CATI offices set up with their printers as shops, and I've made a demo shop for us today. We go into our demo shop, we're immediately brought to the orders page. Now, as I said, every job gets an ID number for easy searching. We can also find, just at a quick glance, we can find information about the project, who requested it, when it was submitted, when it's needed by, what materials it needed and the status of the order. If we look at what kind of shop uh, machines are in our shop, you can see that we have some MakerBots, some FDM for, uh, Fortis and Strat, uh, 
F123 machines, and also some polyjet machines. But not only that, we have some non-additive machines that we can add into this shop as well, such as a CNC or a water jet. If I go into the machine types, GrabCAD shop host, uh, supports a whole host of different technologies from everything from Mark Forge, Ultimaker, it, there's, there's a lot of different machines that you can add into your shop. And if it isn't on the list, it will be added soon. And you can add custom machines as well. Now, if we look at our F370, we have assigned it a time rate, a base rate, and told it, told specified in shop what materials are available. Now, this is going to be really important when we get to our calculator later down the line. If we look at ASA, we can specify what colors we have. For example, if we actually have just run out of green, we can just unselect green, hit finish, and then our requesters will not be able to request a part in green until we get more in stock. So we can automatically notify our customers or requesters of what our actual stock is, what when we have material in or when we're running low on material, we can remove it to save uh, people requesting it and when it's not going to be available. We go back to our shop. Now, let's say I am a requester. I am somebody from the marketing department and I would like to submit an order. I hit new order. I can browse my files here. And just like GrabCAD print, GrabCAD shop can support all the same files and more. So along with step files, STL files, surface bodies, you can also attach supplementary documents such as PDFs, text files, or images, just to give the operator some more information about the job. So if I go, and I would like to make some of these wrenches with the CATI logo on, and I want two of them, I specify the quantity here, I give it a project name, specify the technology, and as you can see, if I specify FDM, the materials available to me are now only materials that are, are available on FDM machines. But if I change it to polyjet, for example, the materials are polyjet machines. So it uses smart filtering, so you so you won't be able to uh, print or request a job made out of titanium on a plastic printer. We go to ASA, specify a color. Note that we don't have green anymore as we removed that from our list. And let's choose blue. We can leave a note for the operator to give them more information if we didn't want to attach anything such as a, a PDF document or things like that. If we have a project code, we can give it the project code there and specify a need by date. And let's just say we need it by the 11th. I hit create order and that's it. That's everything I need to do as a requester to submit a job. Now, say I'm the operator. I come in, I will get an automatic email notifying me that a new order has come in and I can either click on the link in that email or I can just open shop and see that we have a new new order. I can go into the order, see that the requester has left me a note and if I want to talk to them as well, I could comment back and forth. So if I have a team of operators, I can assign a specific operator who is responsible for taking that job from start to finish. I can I can download the files, I can view them, and I can change the order statuses. So I know we can print these, so I'm going to approve it. And I, I know we're going to be able to deliver it by the end of the week, so I'll tell them that the delivery date has been moved up. I can see what technology, material, and color everything is. And I can just select all the files and open them to GrabCAD print. Now we wanted two, so I'll just copy and paste, automatically fix any errors in the parts, and go with slicing the model. 
Now I'm doing this and I'm going to get an estimate for the time and material the parts are going to take, and I can use this in the calculator that's built into GrabCAD shop. I view my estimates, you can see it's going to take two hours, 20 minutes of time. It's going to take 2.3 inches cubed of model material and 1.3 of support material. Now I go into my calculator. I can specify my material, and that was 2.3 inches cubed. The support material was 1.3 inches cubed, and it was about two and a half hours. So I'll specify that. And there we have it. We have all of our all of our costing made for us. If we wanted to add a markup, such as tax or a profit margin to be added to the order, we can do that in the markup percent. We can also add an extra cost, such as shipping or a flat rate fee if we have a minimum order. And we can also override the cost entirely and, and specify what we're going to charge for it. We can change the material to see if, if the material options were flexible. We could change it to nylon 12, for example. Or keep it at ASA. And as you can see, we've also we can specify which machine we run it on. So we're running it on a Fortis 450 right now, and it's going to cost about ninety dollars. But we know the Fortis machine is going to actually be tied up for the next couple of days, and we don't want to change materials. So we and we know we have ASA on the F370, so we can just change it and compare the price there. And straight away we can. It updates our prices based on the calculator that we, uh, the presets that we set in the shop settings. So we can update the price. You know, it's going to cost $86. We can communicate with our requester, and this will automatically send them an email. They can then either confirm or, or negotiate the price or uh, specify any more information. And then we can tell the customer that it's in progress and they'll again get another email. We can look at the history and see how the, how the order has been progressing. And then when it's completed, we can mark it as completed. Now, if we go back to our orders, the orders disappeared, but it's only disappeared because of the active orders filter that is by default turned on, we can turn this off and see any order that's also completed or canceled. We can further use the filter and just look at orders that have been completed. And let's say we want it just within the last month. We can see all of these orders and we can see what material they've been made out of, and we can export this as a PDF. And this is really useful if we are going to be using higher level statistical analysis or we want to uh, forecast how much material we need to buy next month based on orders this month. If we go into a shop information, we can change the name, the logo, the currency and the units. And also we can customize our orders page. Both the top top headings and also the order statuses in preferences. Now I've added a custom status already for printing overnight and I use this to batch my jobs that I'm going to be printing either over the weekend or overnight when it's lights out just so I get the most out of my printers and I can batch those jobs together. I can also turn on and turn off the visibility of specific columns so if we want to see the project code we can either make that visible or invisible and it will automatically update. Further we can control the permissions and roles through the admin console. We can look in the user groups and we can assign specific people to either be a requester so they can only submit orders or an operator where they can submit orders or work on orders, change statuses and communicate with the customer. So that's GrabCAD shop to review the tenor the technologies available in shop are not just limited to uh, Stratasys or additive manufacturing machines. You can use both Stratasys machines, non-Stratasys machines, and also other 
machines that aren't additive manufacturing, such as CNCs, water jets, uh, and mills. You can add custom machines. And submitting an order as a requester has never been easier. It gives the operator all the information they need at one place. You can attach all different file types, whether that be a SOLIDWORKS part, an STL, or even a surface model. By just filling out the drop down menus and specifying the technology and material, the operator has all the information that they'll need. And then you can communicate back and forth using notes. You can set a need by date so the operator knows when, how best to schedule this job in relation to the, all the other orders that are coming in. And then they can use the price estimator to accurately determine the price and give quotes. Changing and updating the status of an order is as simple as a click. The custom tools available, you can set your own statuses and it automatically communicates with the customer when an order status has changed. This is an example of one of the emails that a operator will get when a requester has submitted an order and they can either click on the link in the email or they can open shop and see the order for themselves. As I said, when an operator makes a change, it's as simple as just making that change and submitting it. The emails are already taken care of it through shop. The requester can check their email and see, oh, I see that um, my order has been completed. Let me go pick that up. So if this seems like it's been uh, a useful piece of software and would help in your organization. Grabcard Shop is a cloud-based single portal that's improving all the time. They have a dedicated team of staff who are there to help and also to improve its functionality. And a free trial is on offer. You just contact sales at cati.com. Alternatively, I'll post a link in the chat so everybody can start downloading the free trial. It's free, it's easy, it's gonna make your printing lab more efficient. So if you would like to, contact sales at cati.com. Thank you.